So we normally talk about uh, next generation technologies. <laughs> Today we are actually meeting somebody who is actually next generation, <laughs> shaping the next generation. When I was five years old uh, in senior kindergarten, T tables, which helps you learn your multiplication tables. First of all, I'd like to get uh, my book signed by him, uh, and of course it would be great uh, if my uh, application as Tanmay could play uh, KBC with him, that would be great. So Tanmay, how old are you? I'm 12 years old. <laughs> Not even a teenager? Not yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> When was uh, the first time you started coding? Well, actually, I was five years old, uh, and I remember actually, you know, I was just really fascinated about computers because, of course, first of all, I had pretty much nothing to do when I was five years old, of course. Uh, like, what can a five year old really do for fun? I uh, play uh, with, I guess, toys. But, you know, my dad worked as a computer programmer. Uh, and so, you know, since he would code lots of, uh, like pretty much all the time, I would always sort of watch what he was doing and it sort of intrigued me as to like how a computer could display something on the screen, like hello world or even my name. Uh, and so, you know, at five years old, I thought that was like magic, I guess. Uh, and so, you know, I really was intrigued and I wanted to know how it was, uh, how it was able to do this. So I wanted to get into the depth of it. Uh, and so, you know, my dad showed me a really simple hello world application. Uh, then, you know, I was again, really interested by it. Uh, then we slowly got more advanced in advance, some variables, etc., etc. Uh, then you know what? After that, I just started using the internet as a learning resource, learned uh, more languages like C and VB. Uh, then, I mean, when I was nine years old, I had a Mac and I had my first iOS app on the App Store, T Tables, which helps you learn your multiplication tables. Why did you do that? Uh, well, you know, in grade three, actually, um, I had some sort of tests coming up, and I wasn't the greatest at multiplication tables, but I was good at programming. Uh, and so, you know. I basically had the idea uh, of why not just like, you know, create a little Windows app uh, just for myself that'll help me practice my times tables. I did that and I got a pretty good uh, score on that test. However, what happened, uh, you know, in grade four, uh, I got the idea, why not create it into an iOS app so other people around the world can use it as well? And so I made it into an iOS app and after around three rejections from Apple, it was accepted into the iOS app store on February 14th, 2013. Wow. So did rejections hurt? Uh, not really. I mean, they were because of some, you know, Apple has really strict guidelines, so they were for some really odd reason. I mean, sometimes a font size wasn't uh, very big enough or something, or maybe it wasn't taking up the whole screen, uh, the whole space on the screen, something like that. They were really simple uh, fixes, and then, yeah, it was eventually accepted. Said I use the internet as a learning resource, and so I'm really easily able to learn languages. Like, uh, for example, once you learn one language, or maybe even two languages, you sort of know the basics, like loops, conditionals, variables. And so once you know those sorts of really basics, it's really easy to move to another language because you just need to f find out that sort of basic syntax and then the rest you can build off of. And I do agree, I do specialize, I guess you could say, in sort of like Swift and Java and Python and in some, some sort of Objective-C. But then again, it's since I know those languages, I know here's a class, this is what a class is, this is what a function is, a variable, a loop, an if statement. Once I know those sorts of really basics, it's really easy for me to switch to something, let's say C, C++. It's really easy for me to learn those because I just need to say, how do I define a class? How do I define a function? How do I use a for loop? How do I use an if statement? How do I create variables? Okay, once I know those sorts of basics, I can really build off of there and then as I create applications I can learn the language as well. Sure. Are there things you look up to I mean in your world? Um, well I mean uh, are you talking sort of like people? Or? Yeah, people or also anything that inspires um, you? I mean uh, first of all I'd like to say I guess I admire Steve Jobs. Uh, I mean it, the reason I really admired him was because you know this passion and dedication he had towards his work and just sort of his uh, sort of mood of just never giving up and believing in himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about art artificial intelligence? When did you first hear about oh, yeah. it? Was it like a jargon when you first heard uh, it? No 
actually, because uh, actually I have no idea what I was watching on YouTube, but I just happened to stumble upon a documentary about IBM Watson a few months ago. Uh, and so, you know, I was just really intrigued as to how Watson was able to answer a question in jeopardy against human players, and so how it was able to win as well. And so, you know, I was just really fascinated and I wanted to sort of create a prototype or create my own sort of question answering system, a mini question answering system. I did lots of research and after 20 to 25 prototypes, I pretty much gave up. How, how do you balance everything else? And how often do you code? When was the last time you, you coded? Uh, well, actually Anything. it was this morning. Um, was yeah, you know, I you? usually like to spend around 40% of my day coding because it's just that fun because of course when I was five years old and when I was introduced to coding I had absolutely no idea people did that as a job it was just pretty much another toy for me a computer was a toy for me and that was just really fun to like code and like see the output eventual output like all the sort of problems or the issues I faced during the coding the output was worth the sort of weight and the sort of hard work towards that uh, and so you know I always find that sort of balance because it's basically what I like to do in my break time, essentially. And also, I mean, I'm homeschooled, and so I can really mix it in with uh, sort of what I'm doing. Of course, I do the regular subjects, social studies, math, science, language, uh, but then again, I can actually mix in my computer programming. For example, math. Let's say years ago I did some sort, sort of uh, LCM and GCF calculator. So if I'm doing LCM and GCF in my, let's say, math homework, I can, once I'm done my homework, even create an application to sort of calculate the LCM and GCFs of two numbers and stuff like that. And so, you know, that's how I can tie in my computer programming w with what I'm actually doing. Do you spend too much of time uh, tutoring people on uh, YouTube? Yes, that brings me to my next point, actually. Uh, I do love to share my knowledge, actually. Uh, and I have a YouTube channel uh, that actually just hit 1,300 subscribers. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, and so basically, you know, I like to teach stuff like uh, programming, algorithms, Watson, math, and science. Uh, and so, you know, I like to create videos to share my knowledge. Basically, whatever I learn, I like to simplify it and let other people learn that as well. And so, you know, that's really fun. In fact, I'm actually currently writing a book called Hello Swift iOS App Programming for Kids and Other Beginners. Uh, yeah, and so basically it's going to be, as the subtitle suggests, a book for kids and other beginners to learn iOS app development through Swift from scratch. Yeah, in fact, actually one of my, uh, one of the things on my wish list, I guess you could call it, uh, is to get my book signed by Amitabh Bachchan. <laughs> <laughs> What's the connection? What do you really like? Why do you want to meet him? I don't know, I'm just a big fan of him, I guess. You are? Yeah. What do you remember the most? Uh, specifically, actually, the KBC game show. In fact, another wish, I guess you could call it, is uh, for Ast you know how Watson was able to play Jeopardy with Alex Trebek. Maybe uh, Ask Tanmay could play KBC with him with how much. And Did you try meeting him on this trip? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> okay. Uh, Did you do you also watch movies? Uh, slightly, not really. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> uh, a different kind of question, but uh, I mean, since you're only consume and involve in so many things at the same time I, I, I would like to know what is future of job for you <laughs> do you think of working at all um, maybe, but mainly what I'd like to do is just continue to do what I'm currently doing and gain more experience at it and just get better at what I'm doing. The, m notably, there would be becoming, uh, like, writing more books as an author, uh, creating more apps as an app developer, and of course, continuing to share my knowledge through my YouTube channel. So, if, if we sit again 10 years down the line, do you <laughs> do you see anything in particular? Uh, not really in particular. Again, just continuing to do what I'm currently doing. Sure. Yeah, sure. maybe more things as well, but yeah, I'd like to stick to these sorts of main things like can't speaking in, uh, stuff. In, in jobs the way it is like you know working for one company and <sighs> one problem because you seem to be consumed with a lot of things. Not really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no? Okay. And are you uh, Snapchat person, or are you a Facebook? Or no, I'm more of a Twitter and YouTube sort of person. You are on Twitter. Yeah. No, I set you out. Yeah, you are on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I am on there Twitter. Uh, handles, yeah. Uh, no, I'm. Uh, no, actually, the reason I have another handle. That's actually a really interesting story. Uh, I was actually at IBM Air Connect uh, interviewed by the Cube, yeah. so they misspelled my Twitter handle. So I quickly registered that and said, you know, if you've come here, go back to this Twitter handle. So that's why I have two Twitter handles. But continuing though, my Twitter handle is at Tajimani. T A J Y M A N Y. Yeah, I actually yeah, what, uh, what is future of programming as you see it? Well, mainly I believe that it's sort of cognitive computing, uh, AI, machine learning, those sorts of things because at the that, honestly, I think that computers are better at math right now. They can't really deal, they cannot actually deal with natural language until they're given 
intense algorithms to parse and understand natural language. For example, one sentence I say in natural language could mean a million different things, but something I say in computer language, C, Java, Python, Swift, could mean only and only one thing. That's how the computer knows exactly what to do. And so, you know, basically, machine learning tries to break that barrier. And that's why things like IBM Watson are so important, because they're giving developers and users easy access to these sorts of machine learning algorithms as a service. And so, you know, th that's going to be really important in the near future. You've been coding for seven years, right? I'm not good at maths. Okay. <laughs> Are there any lessons in particular? Do's well, and don'ts? the main one, okay. the main one that I'm going to have to say is when you encounter a problem, like a glitch in your application that you're unable to solve for days, okay? If you just give up on it, like ask Tanya for example, I had a glitch that I was working on with Java, the sort of Java and Python integration that I was working on for weeks. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you give up, that's not going to be developed in the first place. So you know what, just keep at it uh, and you'll eventually find out what the problem is uh, and you will be able to fix it. So just keep uh, persevering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's your social circle like? Uh, like social circle as in beyond uh, work? Uh, do you like go out with you know, friends and oh, you yeah. bike around? I mean, yeah, just uh, I was actually homeschooled just last year, and so you know, I still have contact with most of my friends and stuff. Will so. it give you more time to code? <laughs> 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 yeah, because that's another thing. Yeah. Are, are you normally restless? Are there, are there things that you want to? Like, uh, you, even now you seem like you're in a hurry. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, like, one of the things uh, with programmers is that, you know, people say that, I mean, communication is, is something that... Yeah, is totally. That something I, I think so as well, because, you know, collaboration, like, if there's a team of programmers working on something, uh, like, uh, communication is key, pretty much. If one program is working on something else and someone's working on something else, and they sort of, <laughs> if it's unable to merge, sort of thing, that becomes a huge problem. There has to be good communication. Uh, and just sort of the club. One, one more thing. Lots of subscribers of mine contact me with code and they're like, something isn't working, it's giving me an error. It's because the code isn't clean, it's not formatted correctly, and so some variable or something is out of scope, it's out of a class because they don't realize the bracket has closed because it's not indented correctly, and so that becomes much harder to work with. So, another thing, keep your code clean and make sure you're able to communicate nicely. Yeah. Thanks, Sunday. This helps. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank very you. Much, Thanks yeah. so much.